Catherine Bakhour was just 18 months old, too young to understand the violent political struggle which ended her short life. Activists say she died with her father when Syrian security forces shelled the Bayada neighborhood in Homs. There's been intense fighting in Homs for weeks. There's been heavy gunfire there again on Wednesday. At the same time, an Arab League delegation is demanding the government ends its crackdown. They also want to see all detainees released and they want the government to start a comprehensive national dialogue with the opposition. And they want all that to happen by the end of the month. All what concerns us now is to avoid more victims, to end fighting and to end violence. Fighting must come to an end. Syrians must listen to the voice of reason where people's demands of reforms are realized. Reform is a must to resolve the crisis, not only in Syria, but in many Arab countries. But the opposition has a much shorter agenda. The only thing they are willing to discuss with the government is a transfer of power. They have called for a national strike to add more pressure on the government. But not all the people have deserted the Bashar Assad government. Thousands of the president's supporters demonstrated at Umayyad Square in the capital Damascus. Syrian state television said about 2 million people came. But the opposition dismissed the numbers, saying the rally was staged. And as the Arab League ministerial delegation tries to get the two sides to talk, the bloody events on the ground push the two sides further apart. Rula Amin, Al Jazeera, Beirut.